Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. I'm thinking about doing something a little bit more different today, and that's talking softly throughout the entire episode. A lot of you guys have been commenting, saying how my voice is so relaxing and calm, so I'm going to try an entire episode just like that. Um, we are going to be working on the doors today. I was in a private server earlier and it did not work out well because there was so much lag and stuff. Just, I can't load this base on public server. Not until I get the doors done and it's, it's all like ready to go. <sighs> so with that being said, um, my apologies to everyone that was playing with me earlier. Um, I don't know if a private server will allow Spookwood, but I am looking around for Spookwood and or Sinister Wood. I don't know if anybody's found Sinister. I know that Spookwood is out. And if you look over there, the um, the boulders are back, which begs to question, does the bridge blow up now? I wanna go try that. So this episode, I'm gonna run over there, try that real quick, and then we're gonna go blow up some, uh, or then we're gonna go build some, some more onto my um, gold bridge, so. Oh, here's the uh, the pumpkins I just bought in the public server. Oh gosh, even even in private server mode, this is just laggy. Oh my goodness, I'm probably getting about 29, 28 frames per second right now. Probably can't tell in the video, but I can definitely tell in game. So, get all these off. There we go. Good, and let's go. Here we go. Yay! You can tell from the headlights it's starting to get a little dark. Oh gosh. <laughs> As we're traveling around, I'm just going to keep an eye out for any dark woods, any dark trees. Um, some of you also recommended that I turn down the graphics. Um, I would, but it really weirds me out not being able to see way off in the distance and stuff. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my graphics on. Yeah, that that's a deal. Uh oh, uh oh, I got too far away. Here we go. Chat with Saranok. <clears throat> I'll lower the bridge for a hundred dollars. It's a, it's a deal, Saranok. Hehe. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome, Saranok. All right. And here we go. Waiting for the bridge. Take a sip of coffee. Just uh oh. Oh no, the coffee's gone again. Which I guess is a. It, that's okay. We can we can do an episode without coffee for once. Every once in a while, I'll get some water. Here we are. Just looking around, left and right. Good. And travel back here in the back. Here, I, I tell you what. We'll stick with the left hand side. Looking up on top of the mountains and around the mountains, around the lower area. Just taking a look around. Alright, there's nothing in this middle area. Anything up on the rocks? Nope. Anything over here? Again, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure that they don't spawn in private servers. But if they do, leave me a, a comment. Let me know. That way I'm not running around crazy inside private servers trying to find something that's not there. Alright. Nothing, nothing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I did need to go to Bob's shack. Oh, Bob, you got a new tree in front. Nice. Very nice. It's a little dark, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab a couple of TNTs. There we go. I'll buy those, please. 220? I'll take it. Hehe, <laughs> thanks. You're welcome, Bob. I'll take one more, please. Yes. Perfect. By the way, if you've not gotten these pumpkins, I highly recommend you come over and stock up in Bob's shack. Grab a ton of those things, because they will disappear very quickly. There we are. And here we go. Let's take a look around. We've already looked through the middle area pretty much. Okay, there's nothing over here. The cherry wood trees at nighttime kind of freak me out because 
you can only see the silhouettes and then the leaves kind of disappear and I'm like, oh, ooh, there it is. Spookwood, just what I wanted. But it's not. It's nighttime, everything's closed. Everything closes at night. Nice and easy. Oh man, I might not be able to talk like this throughout the entire episode. It's gonna make me tired and I'll fall asleep on camera. Then you'll have an eight hour episode. Uh, oh, that's a joke. There we are. Go around the back here. Anything up there? Nothing. Nothing around this area. Let's head on over here. Um, I think I looked through this area when it was daytime, but I didn't see anything. Anything on top of the rocks. For some reason, I've seen a lot of pictures of the trees growing on top of the rocks up here. Like, not in this particular area, but in general. I don't know if that's part of their programming or what, but they definitely don't spawn like normal trees. They spawn in the most unusual places. Now, for the winter biome, we are going to go ahead and turn off our uh, sound, or not our sound, but our, our music. Let's get in there. All right, let's go here, menu, and music's off, good. It's gonna be a little boring for just a second, but just relax and listen to the commentary. Oh gosh, let's get out of here, get out of here. What are you doing? Oh, beautiful. That was a good explosion. Got all the rocks in one sweep. Amazing. All right, let's take a look around. Looking for the dark wood of the spook wood and the sinister. Ooh. Any dark trees? These are all pines and firs. <clears throat> By the way, the pine trees are the really big tall ones with the rectangular looking leaves. Whereas the fir trees are the tiny shorter ones with the blocky leaves. So they are two separate kinds of wood. Um, when you place them into blueprints, they look identical. You cannot tell them apart. The only way you can tell them apart is when you cut them or if you had the, the game IDs, which you won't. Nothing over here. Oh, it's so quiet and calm in the wintry area. Just a nice winter drive. I really am gonna fall asleep. Don't you close those eyes. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's anything up here at the top. At the top. Ooh, Code, you're getting sleepy. Don't do that. There we are. I actually really like doing the gameplays where it's really calm. <sighs> Every once in a while, like Phantom Forces or something with high energy, but for the most part, these are what I like. These are fun. Anything over there? Nothing. Okay. Heading up on this direction. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh my. Okay. We're going to have to go back and try again from the other direction. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Careful. No trees. All right. Let's head back the direction that we came. I would be a stunt devil and jump off the cliffs and stuff for you, but that would be counterintuitive to the relaxing tone that we've already set. Once I get back to the main biome, I'll turn that music back on for you. And here we are. Good. Just nice and easy. Easy peasy today. No excitement whatsoever. I'm just kidding. This is actually extremely exciting for me. I love exploring and 
searching around. By the way, I have been to every biome that is here. Oh gosh, no! Oh, you silly goose. And that's going to be the most excitement for the night, right there. Nothing too much. Don't want to get that heart rate up. No, calm, easy. Good. And here we are. I take that back. There is going to be another exciting part. Because I'm going to go up to the volcano. I have to. That's how I'm going to explode the wood. Have we checked out inside the cabin lately? Let's go. Just, let's go see. Okay. There is nothing in here. Um, just so you know, the cabin still works. So if you have a tree or parts of trees, and you bring them over, depending on what kind of tree you have, oh, get up there, get up, there you go, nope, 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 here, hold on, there we are, gotta open that up all the way, grab one of these, drop it in, good, now, we should be able to see Nope, not yet. Okay. Is there a little arrow on the front? No, the arrow's gone. Okay. So let's go ahead and take the whole tree. Don't be nice about it. By the way, this is a palm tree, as you can tell by the uh, the rectangular leaves at the side here. There we are. Oh, come here, you. We'll take this whole tree and just drop it right in. I feel like a painter or something. Bob Ross. That's who I feel like right now. Just a happy little tree. If you'd like to see me react, do a reaction video to one of Bob Ross's shorter painting videos, leave me a comment down below. That'd be fun. Did I lose that piece of wood? No, there it is. Let's get over a little bit closer to it. It's right there next to the box. There we are. There's some more. Let's just, let's toss in the whole tree. Why not? Are we gonna be able to toss the whole tree in? go. Alright, that piece is stopping us. Excuse me, have an itchy nose. There we go. And drop. Oh, beautiful. I love the ding sound. Ding. There we are. Now we have some light. Some firewood. Beautiful. You can push this stuff around. Um, if you have an axe on you, um, drop it inside like this. You should be able to push this wood on out just like this. Now once you get it up so far, there is a wall on the inside. You're not going to be able to push the wall, push the wood any further. So get to the outside, drop the axe again, and away you go. You can bring the wood with you. It's not savable. You can't save this wood or keep it anywhere. Uh, you can't put it into blueprints or anything like that, but just if you want to. A nice log cabin of, with a fire. Come over here with some, some friends and pretend like you're having hot cocoa by the fire during the winter times. Your choice. Alright, let's head on back. Mm. Oh, that would be a brilliant idea. We get everyone together. We'll come over and we'll fill that thing up with just tons of firewood until it's it's overflowing in crazy amounts. Oh good, the fog's nearly lifted. And then once it's completely filled, we'll uh, we'll head in inside, and every one of us would actually drink real cocoa, like on on video. That would be cool. 
Just relaxing by the fire. I like it. It's a good idea. Alright, let's check back here. No spookwood. That's, that's okay. I don't expect to find it today. But we're still making a video. Making a good video. Nice and easy, nice and calm. By the way, this is really hard to maintain. Nothing up there. Um, the majority of the videos that I saw, or the majority of the pictures inside my Discord, it shows it up here in the birch area, right off to the left here. So, right along this area, this is where they're appearing the most. Well, at least in the photos that I've seen. I don't think that's a hot spot zone, but could be, possibly. Let's take a look around. I do not see any of them. I see some fallen trees. Anything over there? Not that I can tell. Okay. So let's head up. Nothing across there. Okay. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. I told you I was going to turn that music back on. Just in time for the volcano, too. Oh, goody. Here we go. Now, one place I know that the sinister tree and the spooko tree don't appear is inside the volcano. That is a known fact. They will not appear inside here. How would you get them? Just a nice, easy run. And we're back up to the top. I don't see any sinister trees, nor spookwood. Anything across the top. I do not see anything. Alright. Oh. Let's go ahead and head down. Ooh, that's no good. There we are. Now, we're going to drive off backwards. Nice and easy. This is much easier in the, uh... Ooh. Much easier in the trucks. The bow haulers. Bow haulers. Oh, that's no good. <laughs> well, we can keep going. Can we lift? No, we're not going to be able to lift. That's okay. The main point is to see if the rock will slide. So let's go, go ahead and head down here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to lose my dynamite. All right. Let's move down just a little bit right here. That looks good. Dynamite is lit. Nice and calm. And does not slide. So the rock slide itself is still broken. Let's see if the rock slide is movable. If we move like this. does not look like the rock slide is moving at all. So, that theory is gone. We'll go ahead and just walk over to the swamp, since we happen to be on the path already. Just to take a quick peek around. How much time are we at? We're at 20 minutes, my goodness. Time on this video has gone really fast. 
There we are. And one more jump. Good. And last jump. Perfect. I'm gonna head right this direction. In fact, we're going to skip an entire portion. Normally we'd have to come down here, go around, come down here, go down that direction. And we're gonna skip right over the whole thing while we search for Spookwood. There we are. Hmm. If you yourself are searching for Spookwood and you find a small sapling, guard it because it will grow. It takes 90 plus minutes from a sapling to full grown. And even then it might not be full grown. Just make sure that you don't leave it for too long because you won't be able to tell when it drops its leaves because it doesn't have any leaves. The moment it drops its leaves, most trees, they die and you won't be able to tell. So just keep an eye on it. If it has more than, I would say seven splits towards the top, seven ends, go ahead and chop it down. Right around seven, you should be good. I don't see any trees on the inside here. Of course, I can't see anything on the inside, so. That was kind of moot, a moot point, kind of pointless. Hmm. There's some relaxing music. By the way, if you do enjoy these songs and sounds, you can find most of the tracks are by Kevin McAloyd, McLeod, Mac, Mac Cloud. MacLeod? Kevin MacLeod. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at how tiny that is. Hold on. Can I? It's a wand. I have a wand. Wingardium Leviosa. That is the tiniest piece of wood I've ever seen. Actually, we can get it smaller. Oh, come on, please. Oh. <laughs> That's no bigger than the, the thing that picks it up. Oh my gosh. That is the smallest piece of wood ever. I'm not even gonna be able to plank that. Like that is so tiny, look at this. Wow. <laughs> well, now I have a souvenir. The smallest piece of zombie wood in the world. All right. Still don't see any sinister trees, no spook wood whatsoever. If you happen to see some, let me know in the comments down below. Ooh, while we're over here, how much time do I have? Hmm. We're at 23 minutes. I'll go over tonight because what I'd like to do is I would like to try some TNT on the rock. Now, I don't think it's going to work, but we can try. I'm not going to be able to keep this tiniest piece of wood, am I? Oh. I won't be able to keep it because I wouldn't be able to plank it. And you have to plank the wood in order for it to stay on your base. So goodbye, little piece of green wood. Little zombie. Baby zombies. All right. What is that over there? Why is there a, a thing? Do you see that? It disappeared. There's a little thing right here. If you go back in the video, just a couple seconds, right there, there was, there was a thing. Don't know what it was, but 
It was definitely a thing. All right. We're going to have to walk all the way over there just to get a piece of... Uh, piece of wood. Or no, a uh, piece of dynamite. Oh, man. My goodness. Taking forever on our walk in the safari. It's okay because we have plenty of time. I don't I don't like the calm voice. I mean for the majority of it, I I enjoy the commentary just because it gets louder the closer I get like this. And it sounds more personable, like I'm right there with you talking directly through the camera. But at the same time I feel weird doing it. So not exactly my favorite style. I'll continue it out for this episode. Once we get to Bob's shack, we'll grab that piece of dynamite and we'll head on back. On up to the swamp. We'll, we'll go ahead and end it up there. For now. Then while that's uploading and I'm making a thumbnail, I'll go ahead and work on the bridges in the meantime. The gold bridge is coming along and I've got a couple of things to do. First is I have to find some sinister or some spook wood. Um, I also need to complete my bridge project. And last is I need to go and grab the power because I still have money, but I don't have the power yet. I am going to put the power on my, my first base, my main base, main character. And I think you have to have it per slot. So if you do start a new slot, you need to start saving up for the power. It's kind of like creative mode. If you've ever played Minecraft, you'd know what I'm talking about. It'd also be nice if uh, Creativerse had a creative mode. That would be really cool. I'm pretty sure they do. They just haven't released it yet. Now, we're going to need one of those trees. So let's go ahead and grab uh, this branch right here. Just right, right here, this one. Almost there. Good. And we'll, we'll bring this with us. Oh, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Hmm. All right, let's chop it off right here. By the way, back before I knew all the secrets and special ways that I know now, this is how I used to get to the gold, gold wood. So if you don't feel comfortable going up the volcano and around the danger zones and stuff like that, you can always come over here to the safari area and do exactly what I'm about to do now. And that is perfectly fine, because you can still collect lots of money. Oh goodness. It's still just too heavy. Let's go ahead and place our dynamite over there. I don't want to lose it in the process. All right, you stay right here, buddy. Good job. And then we'll grab this. Actually, I'll just go ahead and throw this over my head if I can. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Throw, there you are. Hold on, rock up, turn, drop. There we are. That'll make it easier. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Nope, 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 wrong direction. Back this way, there we are. And roll, just nice and easy. A simple, easy game tonight. Nothing crazy, whoa. That's the most excitement I've had all night. Whoa. The expression. The emotion. All into one video. You're welcome. And here we are. Good. Oh, 
stop, stop, stop. Let's go back this direction. And drop. And rock up this direction. Very good. Oh, no, oh, oh. no, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. All right, I can tell this is going to be difficult. Should not be this hard. Rock up. Let's go ahead and take one of these off. Actually, we could take both of these off. Let's take it out right here. And we should be able to move it around. Be more manageable. Manageable. There we are. And up. Oh gosh. <laughs> Why am I so not good at this? It's been so long. Rock up. Let's go a little bit further. Good. And there's our ladder. You're able to climb up 85 degrees. Five degrees off of ooh, 90, which is a straight wall. Oh, goodness. All right, we'll try that again. What in the world? That tree seems to be slick. There we go. And that was not a reference to be slick. By the way, be slick is an amazing composer. He writes songs. If you've ever played, um, what is it? Shark bait? Shark bait is a um, game on Roblox that has music in the background, and that music was composed by B-Slick Music, Bobby Yarslick. Bobby, I hope I'm pronouncing your last name right. Huge shout out to Bobby. Everything seems bouncy again. We had bounciness at one time, but I don't remember what Defaultio did to fix it. Hmm. I feel kind of like Mythbusters right now. Plausible. Myth busted. As we travel around, I love the particle effect off the ball too. It's just a single particle, but really fast. And not much variation to it. It's pretty. Ooh, here we are. <clears throat> By the way, um, all of these trees that I've seen around here so far, these are all zombie wood or golden wood. You can tell because the golden wood only has like two to three splits. You have a couple, kind of like that one over there. That one looks like it's been growing for a while. But as you can tell, it's brown in color. So it's a it's a golden tree. Also the uh the spookwood looks like it's wind blown. It it will look like it's all pointing one direction and bent over. Crazy. Alright. Now, because last time I did this, people gave me such a hard time about being on top of the rock, that's where I'm going to place this piece of dynamite as well. Hold on, there we are. And good. Alright, and jump, jump. 
we're just going to place this right on top, like that. Now, I'm going to have to drop the drop the dynamite. Let's move it a little bit closer. Why not? Drop the dynamite, jump down, grab my axe, and run. Here we are. As you can tell, everything got hit in the vicinity, and the rock is still there. Now, if we go into shift lock mode, menu, uh, no, not menu, settings, shift lock, close, we'll press shift, we can see into and behind that the pink box, it is still, oh, it is still there, right there. Down there at the bottom right hand side. Oh gosh, my face is in the way, isn't it? One second, I'll show you. All right, let's go to scene. And I'll move right over here. Good. Switching sides, perfect. And right there at the bottom right. Ooh, are we looking under the ground? We are. Beautiful. So it's actually quite larger than we'd expected. Why are we able to see under the ground? Oh, we can actually scan back and forth on that. So it is quite large. It's not just a single, a single thing, but that's, I would say it's one half. If you look in comparison, there you go. I'll line that up. I would say one third the length is the same size. Oh, and it's only right there. Wow. Can we go over to this side? We cannot. So it's just on that side that we can see it. And I got way off in the background. I'm sorry for that. There we go. Okay. I believe I'm done for the night. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Lumber Tick 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I try something different with the microphone. Let me know in the comments if you liked it or if you didn't like it. I'll look at which ones actually go off of, and like I said, I'm not really a big fan of this, but a lot of you requested that I do a very soft-spoken episode. Here you are. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I love you guys very much. If you'd like one of those awesome t-shirts with my face on it, or the one that looks like my avatar, you can check out check that out in the link down below. Hello, Juniper. Happy Friday to everyone. And um, the contest winners were announced. Check yesterday's video to find out more. Love you guys. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. Now, if you like the calmness, the outro is a little loud, but we're about to start that now.